Here we are with an HP uh, DV9000 laptop. Um, it was taken apart and cleaned the fan out and put back together and now it doesn't it doesn't boot up anymore. Um, so I'm taking it apart to see what we can figure out. Uh, but here is a pretty much a complete teardown of the laptop. Um, start with a bunch of screws on the bottom um, there, there's quite a few it's a fairly complicated laptop um, yeah there, there's a lot <laughs> fast forward through these others would be sitting here sitting here all day waiting Pull our compartments off. Screws inside the compartments. And under here we have the hard drive. Now surprised to find an SSD was actually installed in here. Um, we have three Wi-Fi antennas on this guy. So unplug all three of them, and we got one screw holding the Wi-Fi module down. And then I'm removing the memory modules here. got all the screws out we're back on the top side um, you can start by prying the piece that's on above the keyboard and that whole piece will pop off there is a ribbon cable in there so don't pull it too far and then there will be three screws on the top of the keyboard to remove and once those three screws are removed from the keyboard you can pull that out but once again not too far because there's a ribbon cable connecting the keyboard and the little locking mechanism you just push both sides out little brown like tabs and that'll remove and then we got a few wires to disconnect and ribbon cables for touch pads and buttons and the the capacitive buttons on top for volume and that and the power button as well and there's a couple screws in there short little ones pull the Wi-Fi antennas out and then we can remove the whole top piece there um, down in the right corner, there's the ribbon cable for the fingerprint reader, so be careful there. And then we have our card slot here to remove. Um, we got two screws there. Um, we have the remote control that these used to come with, pull that out. And then there will be two more screws underneath to remove. And then that whole piece will pull right out. Just up and away. Then we got the ribbon cable there from the fingerprint reader to disconnect. And there we have a little daughter board to remove the screw on. And another ribbon cable in the bottom corner and the screw. And we can pull the little daughter board out. That's just for the DVD drive. Um, remove the screws from the left side there, there's two screws holding the left side on and then the right side just pulls right up for the display there's no screws on the right 
I'm going to be a screw up there holding the plastic um, cover on the whole edge. Once that screws out, that whole edge pops off. And then you can begin to remove the motherboard from the chassis. Um, you have to pry out on the sides a little bit just because of them jacks and things will kind of be stuck into the plastic so you gotta pry it away. Um, on the right side oh, uh, we got that one there as well connecting the audio ports on the bottom and then on the right side there we have a couple more cables to unplug um, one being for your USB and your power that's the power one there wiggle them back and forth don't pull them by the wires you don't want to pull the wires from the plug um, and there you have it the board is removed